are at the Sanibel Causeway Beach right now and we just went through the toll and we're headed to Sanibel Island. We are going to be visiting the J. Ending Darling Wildlife Refuge this morning. Uh, this is a place that Kevin likes to go birding a lot and hopefully we'll see some wildlife today. We He usually gets out a little earlier than we're getting out today. I think it's approaching nine o'clock right now and uh, we missed the golden hour, but should be a nice drive regardless. Um, we just thought we'd get out, take you guys on a little drive, not far from the house. Kevin's Jeep today and it is beautiful out. It's supposed to get up into the 80s. I hope it does. But last time we were here, we got devoured by no seams. But we were here like right at dawn. I think he's taking the top off right now. <laughs> anyway, um, not the top, but the, the little T things. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we got devoured by no seams, but I don't think it's going to be a problem today. That's one of the benefits to getting out a little later. But yeah, this is a four mile drive and it's really pretty. There's a number of walking trails here, uh, <laughs> but uh, the visitor center, I think we're going to do the visitor center after. We'll see, but yeah, we're on our way. There's a $10 entrance fee to do this drive. Sometimes on holidays, they'll just let you go in for free, but doesn't seem to be the case today. <laughs> oh, are there Spoonbill? I love Spoonbill. It is crowded today. But the birds are out. Did you? No. I don't know if it's going to turn out because it was so quick. See, I need to put, if I have my other camera.
camera, my other lens on, it's better handheld. I'll pick my camera up and try to get it as quick as I could. <laughs> I have time for settings. We could not have picked a better day. It is so nice out. Everybody's here though. Yeah. You think you got some good shots? Mm -hmm. Maybe a few. Well, we're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> it's only, like I said, it was only four miles, but we've got, I think we're, got, we're like what? Not even. Maybe not, maybe a mile, maybe. Yeah, so we got a ways to go and lots to see, hopefully. here. I don't know how much they cost. Sounds like they're narrated. So the kayak launch, or at least one of them, I don't know how many there are, is at my marker two and right near there is this little trail. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's nice and cool. You can really feel the temperature difference in here. It's a really short trail, but so beautiful. All these mangroves along here look healthy. And we've been seeing a lot of fish in the waters. It's quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, next time we'll bring the kayaks. Get out on the water. Here's another little trail. Quarter mile.
don't do that, right? And right around the three and a half mile mark, we have the Calusa Mound Trail. I wonder if it's a loop. It must be a loop. Yeah. That's a big tree. <laughs> oh wow, that's cool. Look at that square. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's where the Cuban Alps live. Yeah, I wonder. Another magical looking tree. Very nice. Shade mammoths. I like all the signage they have along this trail. So I'm looking at the shell mound, I think, which really this trail kind of loops around the whole thing, I think. But it's really interesting, the history. It says here, the Calusa increased the riches they drew from the sea by trading their food and products. They dominated all of the tribes in South Florida and demanded payment of tribute in the form of goods and services. They were a powerful tribe and a network of trade that stretched across much of North America and the Caribbean. They were highly skilled and artistic craftsmen. Shells, bones, and teeth were fashioned into pendants, pens, and beads. Beautiful Calusa jewelry and carved vessels made from the shells, such as the lightning whelk, have been found in sites as distant as Ohio, Wisconsin, and Oklahoma, providing evidence of an extensive trade network. Wow, this is a nice gumbo limbo tree here. Bunch of them through here. We've been seeing all kinds of trees in here. Besides gumbo limbo, there's of course all the mangrove and sweet gum, ficus. All these plants like these low lying areas that get a lot of moisture. Here's some sea grape. And I think that you can see some cabbage palm and I think that's because we're in a little higher ground now. And that's it. Short little trail, <laughs> but nice. Got a little bit of driving to do still. They have a nice nature center. Lots of interactive displays. Get the kids involved as well. Photography exhibitions going on. Looks like they have other artwork here. You need to get your uh, photos in here, Kevin. <laughs> in high school. These are in high school? Well, that was their high school photography. Mm -hmm. Nice. Gorgeous.
What is it? What does it say? What is feet shaped like? The duck? <laughs> is it working? Oh, they may. Oh, oh no, it's working. You gotta hold it. Ducks. So we're done with this and we both are hungry so we are gonna go look for some food. <laughs> <laughs> I had the Thai spring roll, and this is carrot, with lime, and ginger. Really good. And Kevin had, what did you have, Kevin? Strawberry kiss smoothie. Strawberry kiss smoothie. And I tasted it, it was good too. Everything's good. All we have left to eat, and we're probably going to wait a little bit, is the chocolate chip cookies. Yummy. <laughs> 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 Well, we were going to show you the beach. There are areas all along the Sanibel Causeway where you can park right on the water, but it is packed and it didn't look like there was any spaces back there. Where we're at right now, you have to actually walk to the, to the water from the, there's mangroves here blocking the view. There's no view. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, we're going to call this video done. I haven't been filming as much as I need to be filming, but I wanted to make sure I was able to get a video out to you guys. I've just been doing a lot of things that are not interesting on video. <laughs> I've been working on my website a little bit, still working on that, and we had to do the taxes, that sort of thing. and so. I didn't have a lot of footage for you guys. <laughs> I'm all caught up on my videos, but I should, I think what I'm going to do is kind of start introducing like sort of week in the lifestyle videos when I'm not on the road. That way you get a little bit of an idea of what I do in between traveling and that sort of thing. Um, but that's it for this week. <laughs> We are going to say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>